hello everybody and welcome to another episode of Bookstalk and this time I'm going to talk to you about Man Ray Self-Portrait. Before we begin, as usual, if you want to support the channel, like the video, subscribe and share the video with your friends. And if you want to go a little a step further, just check out my website, there's a page with all the books that I wrote and published, and if there's something interesting for you, just get it and that will be a great way to support the channel. This say, let's talk about the book. And this time is Man Ray, Self-Portrait. This is an autobiography by Man Ray. Man Ray is an artist that uh, I really like. I talked to you about Ansel Adams in previous video and Man Ray was the opposite side. Uh, Adams was all precision and pure photography. Man Ray was, I'm an artist, I'm a painter and I use photography basically to survive but then became a form of art but uh, he always had to put something different in the photography he was not a pure photographer he was a 360 degrees artist that used photography in a different way and if you read this book always uh, look for something uh, as this this is a catalog of an exhibit that was in Turin uh, some years ago ton of years ago but uh, you can find books with uh, um, a lot of things from Man Ray, made by Man Ray, uh, can be catalogs, can be uh, just books that talk about him with the pictures. And you really need, uh, if you read uh, this one, you really need to have a good book with a lot of pictures or uh, use, uh, in right now you can use Google, so you can uh, um, kind of see uh, what what is is talking about in this book in this one there are really uh, few photographs so it's not uh, uh, if you don't know Man Ray perfectly it's much better to have a reference uh, in some way so as I said Man Ray was the opposite of Adams because he was an artist and uh, not a pure photographer he was not an artist that he used pure photography to express uh, his art and he transform photography in art, but uh, Man Ray used photography as another medium to express his art. So it was always a strange idea. Uh, Man Ray was the guy that came out with the uh, rayography. Rayography is just uh, objects put on the printing paper and uh, uh, exposed in the dark in the way so basically what you see are the shades and transparencies of objects and all these kind of things so Murray was uh, not uh, I have a sheen I decide I photograph was I have an idea I'm an artist and I go with that and I use photography to express that kind of art uh, he's famous also for uh, portraits uh, he discovered at a certain point uh, the solarization that was uh, probably turned on the light in the wrong moment in the dark room and he discovered the solarization this is probably one of the most uh, famous pictures of Man Ray so taken by Man Ray so uh, really a great artist all around and uh, the, the self-portrait is really a book that is nice uh, to read and check the images and you will discover a lot of other artists especially in the Dada groups uh, and so on so the Dada movement is a movement that I like enough and if you don't know it Google Dada artist and uh, there are very interesting things and by the way uh, so this is a great book if you want to read something that bring you in another country in another moment in time uh, this is a book to read so it's really fun what I love about Man Ray is that I grew up photographically with uh, uh, Ansel Adams so uh, precision and all those kind of things pure pure photography that was my base when I started with photography and I love that I mean I'm uh, really uh, I like the technical parts and all those kind of things but at a certain point um, I needed something different and uh, when I saw the, this exhibit in Turin, it just something clicked. I really like what Man Ray did, and in this case, it's 
okay photography can be not just photography by itself but can be something more used in an artistic way you can bring some artistic concepts in photography and you can use photography in an artistic way so uh, i give you an example of something i did uh, that is the phoenix photo project uh, uh, the number one is free to choose and uh, at the london international uh, design competition I will put the name here because I don't remember, I, I, mean, I, I see, but uh, uh, it got uh, a mention. And uh, in the cables project to get all cameras, fix them and create something with them. And the end result is not just the photographs. The end result is a box with the camera, the negatives, um, the, the photographs and so on. And if you want to check what it is the project, there's the link down there in the comments uh, to the article on my website. So, to give you an idea, that is something that you can do if you uh, get away a little bit for the idea of pure photography. And I love Murray for that. Uh, Murray is not a technical guy. Uh, what he did, a lot of things that he did are kind of uh, mistakes. Uh, it was a mistake to when he discovered the rhyogram, it was by mistake. Uh, when he discovered solarization, it was by mistake, and so on. So uh, he is more uh, a player with the, with the medium than not uh, uh, a precise guy. And that's something that I like because I tend to be always too precise on the technical side and uh, I like when there's something that uh, uh, bring me out of that uh, and more on the just creative angle. So this said, uh, Murray, when I say this 360 degree artist, uh, I show you something that I really love and this, this is the metronome with the eye and this is called uh, uh, object to be destroyed and the story behind this is uh, I read it in another book it was uh, uh, you have to take the picture of the eye of your the person you had a relationship with that ended and you have to put the metronome with the rhythm of your relationship and keep it there clack 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 until it's too much and you get something and smash it down and that is a cathartic way to get over a bad relationship and this is i think this for example is fantastic use of photography it gives you other concepts other things and this is why i like murray this book read it it's um, very nice very inspiring sometimes by the way it shows you that uh, you must not be afraid to just do things to pay the bills you don't need to be an artist every time and sometimes you become an artist uh, and very well known to something that you did to pay the bills as the main part there's nothing more to add about it so thank you for watching if you enjoyed the video please put a like subscribe to the channel and share with your friends and if you want to do something more check out my books photography dev manual of the basics of photography lasting photographs this is a novel based on photography that very great review online and inject fine art printing is uh, another book that i wrote about uh, uh, how to create fine art prints with your inject printer thank you for watching see you next time with another video bye